A spinal cord injury can be a life-altering condition, as you might imagine. And an experimental drug that's only being tested in Chicago right now is showing some positive results. Regina Waldrip is at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab with a look at how it has changed one young man's life. In August of 2022, I was working at the beach as a boat launch attendant. We were like jumping off the dock into the water, landed on my neck, broke my neck. Clay's accident left him paralyzed from the neck down. He would spend three weeks in ICU, then he would come here to the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. Was getting involved with the research team, just doing smaller little projects. And they had mentioned the nerve gen study, but I didn't qualify because you had to be a year post-injury. A year later and after lots of hard work, Clay Sherb became patient number two in the clinical trial of the drug NerveGen, or NVG-291. Did it for four months. After only nine weeks, the results, in the words of Clay's mom, were amazing. Clay had a total of 84 injections. Finally, I started to notice that taking steps was getting easier. Our family was in tears at how happy we were to see the changes that he made while he was on this drug. He showed improvements, and I think, uh, you know, we're analyzing the results right now. Dr. Monica Perez is the study's lead doctor. She explains how the experimental peptide used in the study works. A peptide is a small molecule, and there are different types of peptides, different functions, but the one that we are using is actually exclusively focusing on suppressing inhibitory signals that are within the spinal cord. We're trying to work with some people to get expanded access through the FDA uh, to get the drug, to get access to the shots again, but it's a long process. So the subacute trials, they are happening right now, and then it's on to phase three, and that's focused on large rehabilitation centers. At the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab, I'm Regina Waldrop. NBC5 News.